Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn any winch wireless with 30 bucks in 30 minutes. And what that'll get you is this little guy here. It's a wireless winch uh, remote, transceiver and a remote. And uh, you get a little one for your keychain for your car too. Um, and all it is is just four wires coming out of that box plus an antenna. And uh, you just hook that up to your winch control box. Uh, there is another model available you can get uh, which is the female plug. It'll just plug into your winch and you just uh, stick it on wherever and you're good to go. But uh, we're going to be hard hardwiring this one today. And it uh, should be fairly easy for most people because your winch is usually fairly accessible. I had to do a remote uh, install for my control box so it's in behind my grill so I gotta pull my grill off and get in there and get the cover off uh, so I'll do that and uh, then I'll show you how to do the rest. Alright now we've got access to uh, our control box and next up we gotta take the back over because we're gonna be mounting this inside but uh, we should be able to just double sided taper in there and uh, then nah. So I'll bring you guys over, show you what we're working with here. And I'll bring you right over. Right there, so we're just going to pop in screws out, take the cover off, and then that'll give us access to all our solenoids, switches, and wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Don't do that either because you'll never find them. <laughs> Let me see if I can. There, that gives us access to our control panel. Then we just got a wire. Why are these in there? So the red wire goes to 12 volt, black wire goes to ground, and then the white and yellow, I believe, are just control wires. And the blue wire is just the antenna for the remote. So what do we need to get these wires open up? And this is probably a good time to tell you, disconnect your winch and shit so you don't arc everything when you stick your wrench in there. <laughs> Alright, 
And I'm just going to leave everything snug but not quite tight just so here if I want to move anything a little bit. I can while I'm setting it up here. remember where everything went if you have to mark it or label it or whatever do that because uh, you don't want to be trying to figure it out later if you don't have the diagram <laughs> and you don't know how if you don't know how this stuff works Because I can't get uh, that in there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this circle to make it like this, a little spade terminal. And then I just took some tin snips and just made it a little spade. This goes to this yellow guy. And the white just goes to this brown guy. Pretty sure. <coughs> okay, now before we wrap everything up and call it a day, let's make sure it actually works. So we're just gonna pull the clutch. <laughs> so now hook your cables back up so you don't think you fucked up. Okay. So if there's batteries in the remote, which I don't know if there is. Oh yeah, it came with a little battery. So it even comes with batteries. So let's see if it does anything. works. I popped the clutch, so. But it still gets a little bit. And there you go. 30 bucks, 30 minutes. Wireless winch. If you feel like supporting the channel, we have a, a GoFundMe set up for a camper build that I'm doing. And uh, subscribe and like the channel if you liked what you saw and you want to see more. Thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy. And I guess if you want to see my truck all put back together, I'll show you that too. But if you don't, feel free to end the video here. <laughs>
And what I'm going to try to do is see if I can stick the antenna down through the hole. I guess the drop is not hole. It's a hard one. I'm going to see if it works with the. Uh, I'm going to pace on there. If it does, sweet. If not, I'll pull back up. I'll pull around so I can get through. I just want to make sure it works with the case on before I bolt everything back up. All right, it works. So that's fine for me. I'm sure you might get a little extra range if you poke the antenna through the steel box, though. I guess if you haven't seen, uh, first video, you can see how I test my winch. Control box. Use some
All right, all done. That's all there is uh, for turning your winch wireless in 30 minutes with 30 bucks, and uh, I'll let you guys take her easy because I got a headlight I got to switch out. So uh, you don't need to watch me do that. Take care, guys.